So why is property investing in London dead? Over the past decade, thousands of landlords have packed their bags and fled London and moved elsewhere. So what's going on? Let's get into it. Okay, so landlords are leaving London. Yeah. There's a mass exodus. You know, I wouldn't say property investing is dead. I've been dead for a while down there. I mean, I've been seeing landlords for years, um, refinancing out, selling stuff down south to reinvest in the north, mm -hmm. using equity in their family home to invest in the north. Um, you see more and more of it all the time. I was only chatting with someone yesterday who's inherited a house in London and he's putting a mortgage on it to yep. invest in the north. Um, and that's been going on for a long time. Um, yeah, there's some obvious stats yep. why it's dead. I mean, since 2015, London's seen a dramatic shift in the property landscape. Um, house prices in some areas have been dropping, stagnating, mm -hmm. not going up in value. I think overall it's 5% in 2024. So London house prices went down by 5% mm. in 2020. And that's always skewed, the market there's always skewed because there's so much really expensive stuff. Well, absolutely, but, uh, the, the, yeah. there's, some, there's some outliers that yeah, perform really well yeah, and yeah, hold yeah. everything else up. Of course, there, there is, yeah, yeah, there is. Of course, there always is. Um, um, but you know, there's some key factors. The, Stamp duty surcharge that came in like eight years ago, 3% on a second home, didn't really affect us. When you're paying 60, 70K for a house. 150 max, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's factored into factors your, in. your calculations. It doesn't really make a difference. If you're buying a half a million quid, yeah, half a million quid house, 3% of that, that's a lot of money. Yeah. You know, 3% of the extra, because it, it goes up as well. Of course it does, because then it goes 5% on over 250, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it's just... not even it's, what it's the numbers are when you get... Not even oh, worth... Not even, even bother investing down there, so I wouldn't know exactly. But yeah, the tax alone has made it so much less appealing. Mm -hmm. um, stamp duty, yeah. Yeah, stamp the stamp duty. But then also, you've got the um, tax, tax on... Changes. Yeah. Section 20... So section 24, if you don't know, Google it, but the quick rundown would be that... Um, before Section 24 came in, you could offset the interest on your mortgage against your costs, against your profits. That became your part of your P&L, one of your costs. And now you can't. You get a, you get an mm -hmm. allowance based on your you know, your 20 or 40 percent uh, totally. rate tax payer. <coughs> that makes a massive difference if you've got an expensive leveraged house yeah, in London. It so does. That really, really. It, it really knocks does. Things. You know, prices down there did soar after 2008, but I would say that bubble's burst now. Mm -hmm. Um, Covid did something on that about that. People, yeah, people, went, people moving went out of the city. You know, lots of people in London, yeah. not Londoners, yeah. Yeah, stayed after university, went there to find a job, and then, do you know what? I want to live in the countryside. Maybe that'll reverse mm. now, but yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. definitely a factor. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it in parts of Nottingham. People um, who I grew up with moved down there, got a job, made lots of money, sold up, and they've moved back home. Mm -hmm. um, one friend in particular bought a big pile here. After selling a flat down there, you know, and lots of people do that all over the country, moving back to Manchester, Cheshire, flat to, yeah, 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 in the middle yeah. of a smoky rat infestation. Yeah, <laughs> now I've got a five bed farmhouse. That feels yeah. good. You know, and you know, Londoners have been spending over fifty percent their income on rent. Mm. It's not sustainable. So um, that is another thing. So we're talking about, you know, from a landlord's perspective, they get to a point when, so you know, it, it, we've seen the let's call it, we said mass exodus, but it's been a slow burn mm. thing and mm. you've noticed it we've noticed it having spoken to landlords exodus is you know leaving london to invest elsewhere and you've noticed that for the last decade really but they get to the point where even the ones that were clinging on people would say oh do you know what? Yeah. i've got five percent i mean it's going up in capital value whatever whatever the capital value starts to disappear so i'm looking around I might want to sell this thing off because i've got i've got probably got some capital gains in it but the trigger point was when the rent stopped going up, so your yields are coming down, and it brings us on to the next point, which is mortgage, mortgage rates. rates. Yeah. So you've seen how things are. That I think that's the right way that it happened in mm. people's minds. It's like my capital growth is slowing, but it's still it's all right, and I'm mm. still washing its face. It might even be making some money. My rents are going up. Mm, that's yeah. Going back. Now it's going in reverse. Now. Boom, mortgage yeah. rates comes. Now I'm not just even washing my face. Massive. I'm not washing massive my face. Difference. This was probably the biggest. It just makes yeah. such a huge difference. Yeah. So yeah. mortgage rates doubled, tripled even. Yeah, um, apparently 37% of landlords in London are considering of selling up. That's more uh, more than twice the national average. Yeah. That's the, the important point. So yeah, this mass exodus, that is that is the number, the key number. Yeah, more than twice as many landlords after all those three things hit go, no, not, not for me. Um, 
So the actual impact was um, capital experienced. Uh, so London was a 4.4 percent drop in March 2024. So 4.4 percent in <laughs> one huge. Um, uh, month. Yeah, rents have gone up too but much. You just can't. London. You can't keep putting them up. Can't keep putting yeah, them up. Yeah, you'll just get voids. Yeah. Um, so what else is happening? We, we think there's a silver lining, and well, we know there is because we, 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 we've, we've been, been doing this for a long time. time. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing this yeah. for a long time. Yeah. So you know, we are a property sourcing letting agent. I run a team of property sourcers who build portfolios for clients in the Midlands and the north of England. Yep. Um, I've done that over 500 times for clients. Um, so we know that you can get a better return on investment in the Midlands and the north of England. I've seen it happen. Um, for the sake of trying to hope you get the capital growth down south, why not invest somewhere you get capital growth and a positive monthly cash flow? Yeah. That's why we do it. Yeah. Um, you've seen Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, those cities have become really nice and big and shiny in the last 10 years. Prices have gone, we don't invest in those areas because you, you know, we think that in Nottingham itself, mm. there's other parts of the country, you know, you want to talk to That's about the hotspots, book a yeah. call, follow the link in the, yeah. in the description we've wherever got, you're following this. And I've got a hotspot, about it. Yeah. So actually, like, look, I'm happy just, sharing that. We can just dead easy do it. There'll be a link in the description. <clears> It'll have a buy to let hotspot map. You can click on it, download yeah. it. Um, you'll join our mailing list when you do that and you'll yeah, get more yeah. information that comes through as well but we can put that in um, interesting point just to expand on it a bit so this this idea that if you are thinking of um, not investing in London investing elsewhere one of the natural tendencies for Londoners is to then go pick the next big shiny city mm. Liverpool oh, yeah, yeah. Manchester I don't know how shiny you think Nottingham is but yeah <laughs> it's Berlin, not that yeah, shiny you know um, but actually, you can do better than that. They're the obvious ones. But yeah. Actually, you'd probably then still be buying a city centre flat. That uned uneducated yeah. is the wrong word, but you can be jumping from the fire pan to the fire. Yeah, yeah. You really want to be in a regional area that's experiencing growth. It's got to be close to those cities that mm. you talked about, but not slap bang in the city centre of Manchester. For example, no, you want to be somewhere where the same as London. You're still behind so, the curve, so you get in you're in that regeneration yeah. area, and you're getting yeah. the best of everything. Best of everything. First bump of big capital growth. You know, yeah. um, it's happened in Manchester. It's been going on for years. Investors who bought with us in Nottingham ten years ago, their house prices have soared. What you know. I can tell you Doubled and tripled in value. Experience, yeah. The best one I've got, I bought it for 50 grand, it's worth 280 now. Yeah, 50 there you grand go. to 280,000 yeah. pounds in what, 12, 15 years or something. Oh, no, 12, yeah, 12, yeah. 12, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and that's, that's, a, that's an outlier, but most of them were 50 sure. or 60,000 pounds. Yeah. I think the most I ever Worth 150 to 180, yeah. All of them. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Spent about 80 on Definitely. Some of them, but yeah. Um, yeah. Really, really, and some of those were in five years. Yeah. So, most houses are right city double in value in the last five to seven years, yeah, mm. where we've been investing, and that just keeps happening. Um, yeah. So Midlands and northeast of England, or the north of England, northeast and northwest, are outperforming um, all other areas of the UK yeah. by almost all metrics. Yeah, yeah. Capital growth and rent yeah. growth so, and native yield. Yeah, two South Yorkshire together. too. Yeah. You know. Plus, you can still find them. You can still find those. Three bed terrace houses or you know, oh, yeah. ex 1950s ex sort of terrace, uh, ex um, local authority or uh, you know, 80s vanilla box made by Barrett Homes. You know, they're all really mm. easy to buy, True. easy to look after, rent out all the time, and they all benefit from, from this kind of, kind of thing. Mostly freeholds, not leasehold flats, which is what yes, they, that's very also, true. You know, really important. Probably, you know, getting off the point a little bit, but you get more of that in the kind of areas where we buy, whereas in London, there's a lot of um, you know, high-rise buildings with all sorts of other problems as well. Totally. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, look, we've helped thousands of landlords over the past 10 years build and optimise their portfolio. So, you know. Do you want to talk a bit about what we actually do? Because I think it's, it's relevant. Mm -hmm. like, we're, we're, we're a letting agent, but we're also a property sourcer. Um, so when Adam talks about this as part of the answer, then it's relevant because it's from yeah, experiencing. Totally. Yeah, you know, so... Yeah, to tell people about the sourcing service. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I have teams of guys across the Midlands and the north of England. Um, we we sit down, we create an investment plan for our clients, and we go out and source to order the type of property they they are after. If it's mm. a, a service accommodation project, a HMO conversion, a commercial to residential, or what we we tended to specialise in two and three bed family homes, semi mm. terraced houses, or um, vanilla boxes. Or, yeah, yeah, I like they're our favourite. Mm. Um, you can. We will source a property, we'll manage and 
look after a renovation on it, add some value, and then help our client then refinance to pull money out to go again. Traditionally what we do, if you just want to buy a house with a deposit, we can go and find you that too. Or I think that's really bit, important yeah. because what we've just talked about here is landlords moving away from London is not that easy. The reason mm. I'm going to add mm. talk about the sourcing service is most landlords haven't got time to drive 200 miles up the motorway. No. They're of course scared not. about buying houses in well, 200 miles away up the motorway. Yeah, of course. Um, I had an interesting point of view from, so you were talking about um, you're seeing more, this was earlier on, uh, more landlords our age buying. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mate, we, we, yeah. we came, he's made a specific, so my, my age, he just started, a friend of mine started to invest. Um, so we were sat around. He's, that, he's a typical guy. He's made some money in his yeah. business. He's at what, that what age. What did he say about buying further north? He's, he said he's he a grafter. Everybody, yeah. Most landlords, you're all grafters, aren't you? You all want to mm, get your hands course. roll, roll them, do some work, and you've got some money. So, he said, I want, it, I want it 200 miles away. Yeah, otherwise so I don't be, get involved. Otherwise, yeah. I'd be tempted to get involved. So actually, yeah, yeah, and yeah. he saw the fact that Adam can find it, fix it, mm. and rent it. He actually sourced the property to order. But then we're only going to find properties that we believe in. Otherwise, if we're going to manage it at mm. the end, and it will all be looked after. Now, he's looking in two different areas, which are 150 miles away from him is the closest, and 300 miles away is, is and 150 in between. And he knows he's got a central point of contact yeah. for those two. We, we're not buying all over the country. We're buying in the hotspots, download the map. But you've got one central point of contact that property managers, tenancy mm. managers from mm. the centre of the UK. Totally. Um, that's well worth talking about. Cause Definitely. It's, it's one of the barriers. You know, we're saying, you know, don't invest in London, the exodus, join the exodus, maybe, uh, mm. move up north. This is how you do it. Exactly. So, well, yeah. there we go. Okay, so... Um, London is dead. London's dead. Um, Hopefully, with the right guidance, um, you can help make the, make, make the shift, you know, and Adam can certainly give you the guidance. Uh, there's, a, there's another link in the descriptions, wherever you find us. Uh, book a call. Yeah. Talk to us. Exactly. The blue button. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you Cheers. found it uh, useful. Like, subscribe. Oh, yeah. You're going to do that, Like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that sort that of stuff. One. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Cool. Cheers.